Any questions about 8A? Yes. I, I, once I was uh, looking into it, but the, and then one SBA um, lady was telling me that, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, the architects and engineers are at the highest unemployment rate. I'm really hearing you. Mm -hmm. And uh, then next statement she said, AA is not for you. And then yeah. when I talk to somebody else, and they say, you know, you should apply AA. And I don't exactly know what the AA, I know a couple of uh, architects who get uh, really um, uh, sizable uh, 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 projects through the AA program. I would say if you're already involved with government contracting with the federal government and it's not new to you, um, I think it could be really good for an AE firm. Um, but if you're just trying to break in, because the federal government really looks, and any contracting organization, they're going to look at where you've worked before and have you worked with us before and did, we, did you have a track record with us. Um, it seems to be easier for construction than professional services for some reason. But I think in my service areas, I like to uh, pay attention to not necessarily the Department of Energy, but uh, these departments will be, what I'm looking for will be, um, of course, the uh, US DOT. I never hear from them, <laughs> really. <laughs> the uh, next one will be uh, Department of Agriculture, Department of Forest, National Parks. And I have a really questionable about the Department of Homeland Security. So mm -hmm. those are departments. And what do you think their AA utilization rate would be? That would be my question. That's a good question. I don't, that would be the kind of research that. I need to think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't give you an exact answer, but it's out there somewhere. Right, right. Yeah. Right. So. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have one question. We, a day. I heard. I've heard from friends of mine that were on it. They said, "Okay, I go ahead. I get the certification, and I'm small. And then they offer me jobs that are so big I can't bond it. You know. And I've heard this from guys that you know said went through all the process, got certified, and then they'd say, "Well, gee, there's no job small enough that I can work because they're offering me jobs that are so big that they want you to bond it." And I'm just starting. So it's kind of, is it a catch-22, or am I hearing well, this, or is it just isolated instances? Or? I think it probably can be true. Um, SBA has developed a new program to kind of deal with that. It's called the Mentor-Protege Program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what that is is an 8A, as the protege, can hook up with any other business. It can be a large business, a small business, a medium-sized business, and they develop a mentor-protege agreement and where the large business is going to help develop the protege. And once they develop this relationship, and it's approved by SBA, they can bid on a joint, as a joint venture on 8A projects that are larger. And not and still be considered a small business, since even if they're hooked up with the tower. Large. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's it's coming along. Uh, we've seen some firms just do fantastic at it, but it really has to be a good marriage of the mentor and the protege, and it has to be, we, we watch it very carefully to make sure it's not we've something it, it isn't. Yeah, we've done it as a, I call it a redheaded, stepchild kind of thing with a, you know, here we'll help, we're large electrical, we're going to help you, we're going to give you this little piece, but it's always been, it's the piece I don't want, or it's the piece that you're so low that we're going to give it to you because you can beat our bid, which I understand that, but it's like you're the, you're the stepchild. Mm -hmm. I did it at the football stadium with a Native American and I've done it on other projects and I, it's, I don't have, I don't ever walk away with any kind of extra money in my pocket, sometimes no money in my pocket. So I'm mm -hmm. not sure, maybe this is Yeah, well this is, it's different because the 8A has to be in charge. Okay. And they have to have, use their employees and they have to be vitally in charge of what's going on here. And the, the mentor really has to say, I'm going to help you with your bonding. 
That's how I'm going to help you. Or I'm going to help you uh, get your financial systems in place because I have a really great guy and he can show you how to do that. Um, that's the kind of detail that we get into before we approve an arrangement like that. And they have to come out with the required percentage of profit, you know, depending on what they agreed to at the beginning that okay. we approve. So it's quite monitored. Um, That's better than, mine has never been 8A, mine's just been, well, we need you. Yeah. Come on down. Yeah, but um, the 8A is supposed to benefit. That's okay. the whole purpose. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What's the criteria to become uh, qualified for the The mentor? No, 8A. Uh, you all, you need to how be in. How many experience in field and what the financial position is? How many employees do you have? Uh, you have to be in business two years. Um, you know, socially and economically disadvantaged, not super wealthy. I mean, it's talk about rigorous programs. This is one of them. There's a lot of reporting. Um, every year we do an annual review to make sure the firm's still eligible. Um, we look at financial statements every quarter if we need to. You got too much money, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> That's why we need your input to national to tell them that the net worth needs to go up. I think it's at 750000 net worth. I think so, but now they're allowing lots of reductions out of that. Yeah, you know, the DBE program is one point, one point two. Two, three, and I think they're even thinking of raising it. It's, it's excluding your primary, primary residency residence. and any ownership interest in the applicable firm. So you yeah, we have that too, and we also let them take out their IRA or oh. 401k. Mm -hmm. Don't want to penalize people for saving for retirement. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs>